What's up everybody, Miss Montana DeLeon here with a video blog about how to prepare to be a wife. Now let me say this first, everybody isn't made to be a wife and everybody isn't made to be a mother. Um, we have some mothers that are better mothers and wives and some wives that are better wives and mothers. So everything ain't for everybody, so keep that in mind. Most men who are looking for a wife, who are looking for wife material, they're not looking for the one that has the most expensive shoe, the most expensive jeans on, the most expensive purse. They're not looking for that. They don't care what you got. As long as you're well put together and you look nice with it, they'll appreciate that. They'll approach you. You're approachable. But if you're materialistic like that, Louis Vuitton this, Gucci that, um, Christian Louis Vuitton this, they're going to look at you as materialistic. This is what I've gotten from putting the question on my Facebook page. The men are saying, oh, these women are materialistic. She dresses with all these labels. She's a label whore. I probably would want to deal with it. That's what she values. Mm, whatever. A lot of women, and some of you know who you are, and the other ones who know better, do better, honey. So some of us do and some of us don't. A lot of women would pay $1,500 for a pair of Christian uh, Louboutin red bottom shoes rather than pay down some debt that you may have in order to prepare yourself or pay down some a student loan that you may have in order to prepare yourself to be able to co-sign for that first house when and if you want to get married. Even if you are already married, planning to get married, have been divorced, these are things that you want to do to prepare yourself to be a good wife or to better yourself if you're already a wife. You want to have clean credit, good credit. You know, you want to um, have an investment portfolio, go to your bank. Sit down and talk with a banker and ask him about creating an investment portfolio. Because I did this about seven, eight, about eight years ago. I went and I sat down with a banker and I asked him, look, I have money, this much money per month, free after I pay my bills. I want to invest. I want to do something. He, you know, he pointed out SEP IRAs, um, automatic savings account, connected with the checkings account and stuff like that. Um college funds and stocks and bonds and things like that. So sit down with a banker or a financial advisor or even a CPA, whoever you can sit down with to discuss how you can make your money that you save um, work for you. You know, how you can really build up a really pretty, nice, attractive investment portfolio. Because you want to come to the table with something to offer when you get married or if you're already married, you want to build yourself up to the point where you're just a really good asset to the relationship. So um, having good credit is very, very important. You want to be able to purchase whatever it is and you want to help your husband to co-sign, you know, or you want to just get something on your own, you know, for the house or, you know, reconstruction loan or whatever you want to do. You want to have good credit. You want to be able to buy whatever you want to buy um, without having to be hassled. Um, I mean, of course, every woman wants to look good. First and foremost, you do want to look good. You want to keep yourself up, your nails, your feet, you know, your clothing to look nice, clean and presentable. So you can attract a good man. You know, men like men are very visual. So the first thing they're going to notice about you is your appearance, how you carry yourself, how clean you are, things like that. Once you reel this man in with interest from the outer appearance, you have to have something to offer on the inner in order to keep him interested. You do want to have your outside looking really, really good and presentable. Um, take care of your skin, your health, um, educate yourself, get some skills, some trades, some talents, some hobbies, um, make money off of that. You want to have your outside looking good so that you can attract this husband, attract this man to you. So your attitude must be on point. You have to have a pleasant attitude. You can't be a stuck up mad woman, you know what I'm saying? You, um, so you have to have a good frame of mind to be ready to be a wife. You have to be able to conversate, have something to talk about, travel, do whatever you can do. Um, so that when you do sit down and have conversations, you have something to talk about. You're a little worldly, a little, um, you know, uh, educated and informed about certain things that you can hold a decent conversation with a gentleman. Um, like I said, you want to keep the credit clean because you do want to buy a first house together um, when you get married. Or if you are married, refinance your, your current home that you're in or buy a bigger house with your husband. Um, investment portfolio, you do want to have that. You do want to um, get an education or use your talents to capitalize off of and 
you know, have your own business or be your own business. So you're pr pr producing some kind of money um, on your own before you even meet your husband. So you want to be established um, before you get married and have your bills and everything under control. <coughs> I'm sorry. You want to have your bills and everything under control. You want to have some extra money that you're saving and putting away. You want to have emergency fund money put away. You want to be already there when you meet your husband. You want to be healed from past relationships. He doesn't really want a woman or a future wife that's going to be um, work. He wants you to already be ready. So get rid of past relationship issues and past loves and get past all that stuff and prepare yourself to be a wife. Know how to cook. Men do like a woman that can nourish his body with food and if he wants children to be able to nourish his children as well. Be, be know how to clean a house. Very good. If you don't know how to clean a house, know how to call a maid and, and afford a maid to come in to clean the house. Or just, you know, call a maid once a month and you do the maintenance throughout the month. You have to be able to clean the house as well. There's so much stuff that you have to do to prepare yourself to be a wife. And it's more than just knowing how to cook, suck, and, you know, and all that stuff. Learn how to do little massages and stuff like that. I mean, the sex is good. Yeah, men like sex. But after, when you're not having sex and those times that you're not having sex, what are you going to do to keep them interested and intrigued and in love with you? You know what I'm saying? So you have to be an asset to the point where um, you add value to his life. You can help organize his business, his day, do anything to kind of, um, you know, make life a little bit easier for him and appreciate that. Uh, you also want to be an understanding person, a person who communicates well, because that's very, very important in a marriage. You don't want to be um, a hard head, stubborn, to still make no sense, selfish. You don't want to be any of that. You have to prepare yourself to um, share your life with somebody when you get married. Um, you also want to, I made a video about this, do your research about relationships and how to make them work. Just read as much as you can, read online as much as you can, get as many books as you can. Prepare your mind to be in a relationship and share your life with somebody and be able to make someone else happy aside from loving yourself in the process. And if you do decide to have children one day, you want to prepare yourself to be a very good mother. Um, you also want to prepare yourself to be a very good friend as well. Um, you want to be a good person in general, be able to kill your attitude and how you interact with people. So when you do get married and you have this extra family that you married into, the mother-in-laws, the father-in-laws, his cousins, aunts, uncles, his little nephews, his nieces, and stuff like that, you want to be able to be likable and get along with the family. So you have to adjust your attitude um, if you have any. Also, when you get married, you have to be able to uh, be happy with your life as it is before you even get married because if you're not happy uh, currently before you get married don't think that getting married is going to you know cure your unhappiness or solve any problems that you have before it's not supposed to do that it's supposed to add it's supposed to be an added luxury to your already you know wonderful life so have balance before you uh get married and be happy with your balance have friends have have family time have friend time have me time um you know, have times that you travel, you know, to get your worldly conversation ready and your experiences to talk about uh, once you get married. Um, have your work, you know, have your hobbies and your talents that you do. Uh, but just have balance. I also did a video about having balance in your life and in your relationships. You can do a search for balance on my channel. Um, but you do want to have things going on and not, ser not necessarily waiting, sitting around waiting on a husband. You want to have a very active, engaging, uh, fulfilling, fun life while your husband is on his way. You do want to position yourself to be found by a wonderful man. You don't, you know, they, I hear sayings about um, don't go looking for a husband. Well, well, that's fine. You don't have to go looking for a husband. You have to go chasing men down, but you do want to position yourself where you can be found. Go to functions where you know there are single and available men um, that you are, are the kind of man that you're attracted to. Go to different functions where you know men will be. Or, you know, the gym and stuff. You want a fit man, go to a gym where you know men work out. Um, if you want a man who plays golf, hey, take golf classes and, you know, men will be there. Just position yourself um, in places where you know your future husband may be.
But like I said, there are so many things that I can say in reference to how to prepare yourself to be a wife. And it also goes vice versa for men as well. So prepare yourself to be a husband. Same thing with you. Um, have your money together. Uh, have your uh, credit together. You know, your credit score together. Things like that. Just do stuff to make yourself more of a catch than the next person uh, before you're before you get married or when you're considering marriage you want to almost build your marriage resume so to speak I guess you can call it that building your marriage resume like what makes you an attractive person to marry you want to have all those assets or at least most of them down pat and if you're still working on certain stuff that's fine and you happen to get married or you're married right now continue to work on these things um, to the best of your ability to make yourself that asset that people want and people want in their lives you want to be an asset so if even if you don't have all this stuff right now and you're currently married work on that stuff now it won't hurt at all all can all it can do is help so that's my advice and like i said if i have anything else to add to it i almost definitely put it down in the bottom bar below this video so keep a lookout also if you have anything that you want to add to the video and i probably will re redo this video um once i sit down and actually make the list which i need to start doing um Please leave the comments down below of things that you think are important um, that are absolutely positively very, very important when you're looking for a, a future spouse. And I'll talk to y'all later. Love some, Montana.